Once our trees are tapped, we wait for the sap to flow. We need very specific weather conditions for sap to move through the maple tree. At night, when the temperature is below freezing, the tree's vessels have a negative pressure inside. This causes the tree to move sap, made up of water, sugar, and minerals, up through the trunk and branches. When the sun rises and the day warms to around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, pressure in the maple tree becomes positive. The sap then moves down through the tree's vessels. If we tapped the tree, the sap will flow out of the tap hole and into a bucket or tube. This freeze and thaw process repeats itself over and over throughout the maple season until the nights become too warm and the sap flow stops. When the weather is warmer during the day but is still cold at night, the sap starts to flow. Modern sugar makers use tubing systems to collect maple sap, but many smaller producers still use the familiar bucket. Buckets require daily emptying, and there are usually several larger and larger tanks to transfer sap from the bucket to the holding tank at the sugar house. Tubing systems bring the sap through the woods using larger and larger pipes that lead to the big collection tank at the sugar house. It is quite a journey for the sap. The average healthy maple tree produces about 10 gallons of sap within a season. It's quite an investment of time and money to install a tubing system, but once it's in the woods, it may remain there year-round for 15 to 20 years.